we have about, I don't know, 200 pounds of food in the car between soft and kibbles. So hopefully we can um, make friends out here and help us uh, get these dogs out of here and get them medicated. Get the them. community a little bit because they don't have you know much funds to to buy food for their dogs right and some people do want to keep them here right our organization is helping dogs in critical condition dogs that are in an immediate danger we are also providing food daily for abandoned cats and dogs fighting to stay alive but we are also committed to protecting the animals that have caring families, but do not have enough resources to purchase food for their pets. Dogs are always thankful for everything that happens in their lives. Their tails are always wagging and they inspire us to persevere. Most owners do not have funds to neuter their pets, which contributes to the overpopulation we are experiencing. Today we learned that one of her dogs recently had puppies and she felt safe giving birth under the house. It was tough to see any of these puppies. The area was filthy, full of rocks, lumber, and waste. How many did you see? No, I saw one. I can't really see them because there's a lot of oh, yeah. The owner now understands that she needs to neuter her dogs and is allowing us to provide medical care for the two females in her home. Now, they were really nice to us and um, if we can help them out with food and medical, whatever they need, I think it's worth keeping them there. They definitely need medical. Yeah, they're gonna need medical. Because they keep, you know, reproducing. Right. So, so she has supposedly the six puppies under that, that house. How many did you see? I saw one. You I saw, saw one? like barely saw one because there's a lot of, um, you know, they had a lot of rocks and debris and so you couldn't really see anything clear. Right. While distributing food, we found a gorgeous pit bull tethered all day long. We were told that the stray dogs in the area attacked him constantly and that one of the neighbors poured hot oil all over his body. ¿Y por qué siempre lo tiene amarrado? Se no, sale por todos lados. Yo lo adentro, pero en el día lo saco porque están todo el tiempo encerrado. Y entonces lo, lo saco y él se me escapa para allá, se me escapa para allá. No, él, claro. Eso lo amarro. Claro. No, y aquí hay demasiados perritos ahí, todo el mundo anda suelto. They threw hot oil on the dog because he was wandering off and somehow he escaped from here. Unbelievable. I just can't believe what I just heard. So we, we're gonna see if we can try to get some medical attention. So you guys keep donating, it's very important. Gotta keep bringing these donations in. This is the only way we're gonna be able to fix this, starting in this place. We are getting an up close look of the seemingly accepted atrocities taking place in Miami-Dade County. His injuries and condition are extremely concerning. Can you imagine all the pain he has endured over and over? unable to defend himself and without any medical care available to him. As we continue our route, we didn't know what else awaited us, but we had to make sure that every residence receive enough food and supplies for their pets. I actually put some food out there, just waiting to see if the puppies come out and uh, no luck yet. Because one of them looked extremely dehydrated and the other one looks okay. Yeah, and out here, I mean, they're, it's, it's extremely hot. They have no food, they have no water. They're infested with fleas. I mean, they're, you know, their chances of survival is very minimal. So it's, you know, time is obviously of the essence. You need to get them out. In addition to providing basic necessities, we are also educating people on how to properly take care of their pets and helping them understand illnesses and how to treat them. That's what we really Oh, aquí está uno aquí atrás. The owner of these dogs is allowing us to remove a puppy, and we are trying to convince her to let us take the rest. He's right here. Aquí está este lado. Pero ahí no lo puedo agarrar. Come on. There he is. Grab him, grab him. No, se van para allá atrás y no lo puedo agarrar. Sí, sí, ya. Hey, yo, 
okay, it's okay. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. So uh, we're gonna try to attempt and uh, grab the other one right now. These puppies have never known a home life. They are outside dogs and are terrified of humans. We were not successful in getting the second puppy because he escaped through an opening in the fence and hid under a shed. The owner is allowing us to provide medical care for the second pup, but she wants the puppy back. How can I bring a puppy back knowing that within weeks he will be flea infested and loaded with parasites again? Besides being in immediate danger of getting hit by cars. These dogs don't have a comfy bed to sleep in or toys to play with. And without safety, they learn to nap in the dirt surrounded by alligator infested swamps. They are malnourished, weak, unloved, and vulnerable. We were leaving the area feeling satisfied because we have saved one life. This pup now has the opportunity to be healthy and happy for the first time in her life. But as we were exiting the trailer park, we noticed a dog lying on the side of the road. A road that has taken lives of countless animals, deadly Chrome Avenue. We rushed to assist him because we thought he still had a chance. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The suffering this poor animal has experienced is unimaginable and unacceptable. He lost his life a few feet away from us. It's truly heartbreaking. How can we help these discarded animals? How long you think it's been dead? Oh God. I don't even know what to think. How long do you think it's been dead? Like it's recent, maybe this morning. We were just, we were just here. We were just here, I didn't see that dog. Yeah, so. Oh, man. <sighs> Pause for you. The receiving rescue was anxiously waiting for this sweet, deserving pup. Sadly, she was too scared to realize that her existence was about to change for good. Oh, he threw up, Mira of course. Lo, look at the parasites. You said that was parasites in yeah. there? Yeah. throw up, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. There you go. Baby. Oh, baby. So oh my cute. God, look, he, the fle look at all the fleas. Oh, Do you wow. see it? Yeah. Do you see it? I don't know look. if the camera can pick it up. Oh, oh my. yeah, Look. there's a lot of fleas. Oh my god, no. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Oh, baby. Sadly, she was too scared to realize that her existence was about to change for good. Now she has the opportunity to have a life with an incredible family that truly cares about her. A family that will spoil her for years to come. Her matted hair the severe flea and tick infestation, the extreme fear, and her starving body are indicators of her former life. Would she would have survived another three months of this? No. No, no chance. Yeah. If you are interested in adopting this wonderful pup, please visit the website and fill out an adoption application. We are thankful for Paws for You. They are giving abandoned, neglected, and abused dogs a fighting chance. 